Well, good morning, everyone. We're at Homestake Pass here in uh, Montana, just outside of Butte. Slowed down to take our half hour break. Um, all is good so far. Yeah, it's still dark out. It's uh, 7.20 uh, winter. Summer can't come fast enough. Um, but yeah, we're just sitting here at, a, at the uh, Homestake Parking Pass. Um, just kind of chilling out, relaxing a little bit. And just, uh, yeah, hoping everybody's having a wonderful day today. It's, I know it's early. Hopefully everybody has a blessed and wonderful day. And uh, let's just, uh, let's get her going. I don't know if I'll be able to show you anything in Butte, just because, uh, well, as you can see, it's dark out, so, yeah. But, all in all, so far a good day. Let's get it. Pitter patter. Let's go. Before I forget, I want to ask this question. Does anybody else like this time zone change, or the time change? Is anybody else on board with them abolishing it and getting rid of it? I mean, good grief. Arizona seems to got it, get it right. They, they never change. I mean, I am just tired of this spring forward, fall back stuff. Just kind of curious what everybody else thinks about that. Just thought I'd pop in real quick and throw that out there before I forgot during the process of the day when we're chit-chatting. Yeah, I hope they get rid of it. I don't, I don't care if it's forwards, backwards, whatever it is. Just leave it the heck alone. Let everybody just, you know, the only thing I got to want to deal with is time zone changes. That's bad enough. And was it last week when I went out, went out there to the East Coast, if you guys followed me along on that one, holy moly, I, I sprung forward. And then I went east from central coast, from central time zone. So you already lose an hour going forward. Then you lose another hour because you're going into the east coast time zone. Heaven forbid. Wow, why, why? <clears throat> that made last week a little bit uh, challenging. So I know they're talking about it. I hope they get rid of it personally. I'm out. Leave it alone. I don't think it does anything because evidently Arizona's just fine. Just my two cents worth. What you guys think? Enjoy the conversation.
Well, we are done for the day. Sorry for the wind. We are at our Lind, Washington location. Already did our post trip, walked around. A little bit of wind, a little bit of, a little bit of rain. Well, sprinkles now, but uh, it's been raining. Cleaned up steel horse. Got some of the dirt off of her, but she'll be probably dirty tomorrow. So, but we have got the day done, gang. Let's climb the asphalt mound. Woohoo! Do a little walking, a little climbing. Yep, there's 395, Pasco and Richland, all that Quad City down there, or Tri City. So, All in all good, got dinner cooking in the crock pot as usual. So, want to give a shout out to Dana that lives down there. Sorry, long day. Dana that lives down in uh, the Richland area. One of, one of our subs. So, also want to go on record flip you guys around it's a little nippy not too bad just windy cut the wind off my ears so um, now nah, last week when I was up in the uh, up in International Falls I'll just go on record I forgot to give a shout out to my good friend up in the North Country up in Canada my buddy Jeff Jeff Hardy that lives up in Canada and I didn't give him a shout out so Jeff I apologize, buddy. Love you, man. So, uh, yeah. I get so busy out here, I just, I, I forget on the shout out, so I apologize. Please forgive me. Um, but as you can see, weather's pretty, pretty, pretty crappy. I'll just say it crappy. And there goes Wally World. So, and there goes Wilson, Ashley. Huh. Yeah. Let me flip you around on that one. Yep. Okay. Got a full size broom out sweeping his floor in that thing. I don't know what to say about that. So, but just got off the phone with Mama. Little Tank is doing. He's teething on everything, just chomping on everything. And I told her need to give him one of the socks, one of my some of my old ankle socks that are kind of stretched out a little bit. And uh, she goes, "Well, he's got plenty of toys." I'm like, "Yeah, but toys are on the floor. Socks you can carry around. You can set it up with you in a chair, and he can just chomp away at it while you're sitting in a chair with him." So that's what she's gonna start doing because. I guess he's teething on everything, and he's found his voice, and he's not so quiet anymore. So we got him home. He knows he's home, and he's letting it be known. He's a true dachshund, straight up. There's no doubt about that. So, all right, guys. Well, I've gone long enough on this one. I'm going to go in and chill out, relax. I might throw, some, throw something up a little bit later, but I'm going to go ahead and edit this day. Get this day done. I want to thank you for coming along. Thanks for uh, giving it a thumbs up. Uh, we got another new sub, so I appreciate that. More than welcome. Share the videos. Let's get this thing out. And uh, yeah, I'm going to come along for the adventures and the journey. There's plenty enough room. And on that, guys, I love you. And as always, God bless. You guys are the best. Love you. Sorry for the wind, if you can even hear me. Love you. I'm out.